form summation. If you don't specify the attribute for the form element, the form data is being sent to the same page or the page containing the form as the current page. So if I click on this one, since we do not specify the attribute for the form element, the form data is being sent to the same page. And also, when sending sensitive data, like password and the rest, it's recommended to use the post method instead of get. So over here, I want us to specify two attributes. The first one being the action. The action attribute defines where the data is being sent to. Where are you sending the data to? I want us to send the data to the same page, that's the page that we are on. So over here will be H, that's for HTML special char, and this one will be dollar underscore server. And this one over here will be PHP. HP underscore self. So this one over here will be for send the form data to the same page, that the, the page that we are on. And also, I want us to specify the method. The method is supposed to be post. Now go back to your browser. Realize that the page is being cut off. Realize yeah, this page is being cut off. So click over here and click on View Page Source. Click on View Page Source. We are seeing something over here. Call to undefined function H. The reason is being that we have not included this function. Realize we have this function over here. Is it creating one special child? So we need to include it. So over here will be require as for one, then this one will be all then init dot php the semicolon. And also copy this one from here. Go to login.php. This is here. Yeah. Now let's go back. As you can see, this is what we have. So we have face. So now let's remove this one from here. So now enter in something and click. Enter in some dummy data. Any dummy data at all. Just enter in something here. In this one and click on it so as you can see the form data is not appended the url when you click here and inspect go to your network app click on the network app click on all right then over here what we need to do just enter in an additional dummy data again. Anything, just enter in anything. Then click on register. So as you can see over here, click on the register. Then click on the payload. So this one over here is the data that we sent from the client. So this is the data. So we have the data here. So now the next thing that I want us to do is that I want us to remember the data. Right? So maybe if the person made a mistake or if the email is not unique, right? I still want us to remember the username, the email, the full name, right? So in order for us to do that, 
what we need to do is that inside the core folder, create a new folder, call it classes. And inside the classes, create a new file, call it input. PHP. Then open your PHP class. Then this one will be class. So use the keyword class. The name will be input. So we are going to create two static methods. The first one is a request type, whether it's the post or a get method. And the second one in what uh, in data that we want to get from the user okay so this one will be public static function is underscore request underscore type or Instead of calling the function is underscore request underscore type, you can also choose to, let's call it exists. So we are checking to see whether the method, that's the HTTP method, whether post or get exists. Right? So there's it. And over here, we'll give it the type to be post by default. We'll make it post. Then over here, we'll use a switch statement. We'll use a switch statement over here. So over here, we'll check dollar type. We'll check and see whether the type is post. So if the type is post, what are we supposed to do? So this one be case. First case. We'll check and see whether the type is post. So if the type is post, what are you supposed to do? We'll check and see whether the type is not empty. So if the type is not empty, then what are we supposed to do? Return true. If the type is empty, then return false. So this one will return. So this one will be not empty. The dollar underscore post. Dollar underscore post. So if the post has the data, this one is not empty meaning containing something then over here return true true hold on then false and we'll break it then second case we'll check and see whether the type so copy this one and put it here Type is a get method. So this one over here will be get and over here to the default will be return false. And this one will break. So now I want and get this one then we'll go and check and see whether our logic is working fine so format let me format it okay so i think it's okay so now the next thing i want us to do is to check the input so another static method again so this one be public static function Get value or get yeah, $10 item. 
as the item you want to get. Nova will check if it's set. We are checking to see whether it contains something. Dollar underscore post and the dollar item. So if it's set, then what you need to do is just you just need to return it. Dollar underscore post. Dollar item. And use some semicolon. Else, if we we'll check and see whether the method is get instead of post, so this one is dollar underscore get, and this one is dollar item. So, we'll cut this one from here. This one will be set. Then place it here, and this one will be return with n dollar underscore get then this one be dollar item then semicolon but if it's not push or it's not get then over it with n empty then semicolon so now the next thing I want us to do before we test and see whether our logic is working fine is to call this class. So we need to call this class, right? And it's a static method. So I want us to include this class. Okay. But we'll do that later. So now go to the register page. Over here, the first thing I want us to do is auto complete. I want the auto complete to be off. So, this is the password, right? So, this one over here we auto complete with new password, and this one will be. Username auto complete we off and this one to the same to auto complete we also off and this one to the same thing auto complete we off now before we test our logic to see whether it's working fine we need to include this one input dot php automatically so we include it here so we include it here so this one over here will be spl underscore auto load underscore register so this function over here will automatically load the classes for us without we having to load it ourselves manually so this one will be our function and by your be class name to dollar class name. Nova will be require and ask for once. So we realize that the classes is inside the classes folder, the input. So this one will be classes class then dot dollar class name dot again then dot. PHP then dot so now this is what we have and over here to semicolon okay so now we have this one so now let's go and test and see whether our logic is working fine then we'll end this session so inside your register page Above this one, it will be if so. We'll use if statement to check and see whether it exists, meaning that the method is post or get. So this one will be input colon colon exists. So if the input exists, just echo form submitted.
and this one is semicolon now go back let's refresh it now click on it where well, they say what form submitted because the method is post but if you don't specify anything here then refresh it then click on it realize that we are not getting anything right we are not getting anything here because the method is not what post okay now let's remove this one from here okay now the next thing i want us to do is that the input i want us to work on the input So in order for us to do that, over here will be the value. And we we'll open our PHP tag, then close it. So this one will be escape and what input colon colon get. What are we getting? Email. So now this one from here is it here then also place it here so this one over will be full and that's called name that's this one right and this one will be username username so now let's go back and refresh it now let's enter in some dummy data and check and see whether our logic is working fine this one to the same thing this one too okay. now click on register so as you can see why they said form submitted and also why you can see that the data over is here meaning that our logic has worked fine so in the, but over here you realize that If the form is empty, when I click on this one, the form data is being submitted, which we don't want that. So if the form is empty, I want us to display an error over here, telling the user that the data or all fields are required. So we'll do it in the next video. Okay. So remove this one.